Hey everybody, it's just me LTM unboxing of a different kind today. My VoIP phone handset died. I did take it to the battery shop to see if I could get a replacement battery for it. However, they sadly informed me that my handset was dead. So I have just purchased this handset and I thought I would do an unboxing so you can see what's in here. I had a look on the Choice website before I made this purchase and it was ranked quite highly, I think 75%. It was one of the recommended ones. This is a two handset set. Uh, I didn't want an actual like desktop phone. I don't get very many phone calls, I guess like a lot of people these days. So I just wanted something that could sit and take messages if people ring when I'm not home, which is usually the case. Not very many of the phone calls, calls that I get are people that I really want to talk to. Very occasionally they are. So I do like to have a handset. I could have gone without one entirely, but I would prefer to have a handset to take calls if I need to. So I'm going to open this up and let's see what's inside. So open the box. Let's have a look what's in here. Tells you how to repack it. That's very useful information because how often have you unpacked something, tried to get it back in the box at some later date and I don't know about you, but I rarely get things to fit back in the box. So that's really useful. I've never seen that on a box before. So here we seem to have the handsets. So one handset. Give you a bit of a look at these in a minute. Of course, miles and miles and miles of plastic packaging. So we've got two handsets. And then what have we got here? We've got old style phone cable. Wow. Plug in the wall like that. So these must work with normal phones, phone lines as well. Mine is for uh, to use with a VoIP phone. Uh, I hope that's going to be okay. I may end up having to take that back if it doesn't work. Uh, there are specific batteries that work with the handsets and will be rechargeable. Then we have, uh, this is a power cord. Power cord, but with a phone plug on the end. That's interesting. All right, this is the actual power cord. So, power cord with a normal plug. For the base, we have our instructional manual and then additional information to go with that then also here in the box we have this is the main base unit I probably shouldn't talk while I'm unwrapping plastic but never mind so that's the main base unit which has the answering machine on it and then lastly in the box, the last item in the box is the other handset, oh, sorry, the other base. So this base does not have a place for the power, it just has a place for this kind of connector. Hmm, interesting. This, the main base, turn him over, has a spot here for the phone line, or the MBN line I guess it is, and one here for the uh, power. So this will go directly from my modem router into this base. As for the handsets, uh, pretty standard looking, light up, space in the back for the batteries, so let's 
pop the batteries in there. Just open these ones up. I did check on the box to see that it came with batteries, so I knew I didn't have to buy them separately while I was still in the shop. And that one goes that way. And that one goes that way. Oh, a little beep. Put that cover back on. So you can see it is starting up, asking me to set the day and time. I'll just put the batteries into the second handset. The two handsets look exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which handset you put into which base. You don't have to remember that kind of stuff. I put the batteries into this one and it also gives a little beep and it's also asking me to set the date and time yeah so that's everything that's in the box so if you were looking to purchase a handset um, this is the one I bought. I bought it from Officeworks. It was $89 and here is the um, model number. So it's, ooh, it's a KT TG6822. So that's two handsets with bases, includes an answering machine. Yeah, so if I have any problems with it, I'll report back. Have a great day. Bye.